Good morning. It's Wednesday, December the 30th. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Bow down your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Keep watch over my life, for I am faithful. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth, or the land and the earth were born, from age to age, you are God. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. When the day came for them to be purified in keeping with the law of Moses, they took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now, in Jerusalem there was a man named Simeon. He was an upright and devout man, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death until he had set eyes on the Christ of the Lord. Prompted by the Spirit, he came to the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, he took him into his arms and blessed God, and he said, Now, Master, you are letting your servant go in peace as you promised, for my eyes have seen the salvation for which you have made ready in the sight of the nations, a light of revelation for the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. As the child's father and mother were wondering at these things that were being said about him, Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Look, he is destined for the fall and for the rise of many in Israel, destined to be a sign that is opposed, and a sword will pierce your soul too, so that the secret thoughts of many be laid bare. There was a prophetess too, Anna, She had been married seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came up just at that moment and began to praise God and spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. The Lord is King. Excuse me. Truly, his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. The Lord is king. He has put on splendid apparel. The Lord has put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the sound of many waters. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. Mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure, and holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever and forevermore. Truly his salvation is very near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that I, who have been born again and made your child by adoption and grace, may be daily renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through my Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the same Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. May God richly bless you today and always.